Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my June 2015 favorites of the month. I'm so sorry that this video is coming so late. It's like July 10th today, I believe. And I'm so sorry that it's so late. When this is uploaded, I'm already going to be in LA. I'm going to be in LA for three weeks, so I've been pre-recording like a madman just because I'm not going to be here. But I love favorites so much that I'm like, <laughs> do you guys do you guys mind if I upload my favorites anyway, even though I'm late? And you guys on Twitter, I asked you guys on Twitter if it was okay for me to upload anyway. If you guys would still watch it, if you guys would still like it, and you guys were like, hell yes. Upload your June faves, we're still gonna watch it, and we still love favorites videos. And I'm like, okay, thank God, because I watch everyone's. I'm just happy you guys weren't like too, like, no bitch, don't even think about recording that faves. Don't even think about it, because it's going up anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot of favorites, so I really need to get into this bitch now, because this pile ain't a fucking joke. Ain't a fucking joke. As always, if you guys don't like this kind of video, if you guys don't like me, don't fucking watch it. You know the gym with thing, with little finger movements. But if you guys do like this video, and if you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this favorites because there's a fuck ton. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, let's go and start the June motherfucking favorite. So first things first, we're gonna start off with some skincare stuff first. I have been into skincare so much like this past month like I have so many skincare items like eh. ooh this one first okay so this one actually is more special to me this is from Lush it is the gay is okay bar of soap Lush actually reached out to me and was like hey Manny so we're doing this really awesome campaign for basically just like gay rights in other countries it's like through grassroots every penny of this bar of soap sold is going to be going to grassroots to help LGBT communities in other nations honestly like to be part of such a cool campaign like this especially that one hits home for me obviously like <laughs> I'm gay I know it's I know it's fucking weird I know I don't see it but I'm gay you know it smells Absolutely amazing. It's so like fresh. Oh, it smells like fresh and lemony. I don't even know how to explain it But it's honestly amazing. It's only like five bucks and every single cent goes to help LGBT organizations So I'm really 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 happy to be part of this and thank you so much to Lush for actually sending this to me and Allowing me to be part of this is something I always tell you guys that it's awesome to be on social media It's awesome to talk about brushes and shadows and things like that But when you can be part of something like this where it's helping other people It's the most amazing feeling in the whole entire world to be able to use my voice in this kind of way so thank you so much to Lush for reaching out to me and letting me be part of this Gay is Okay campaign. Um, actually, it's hashtag Gay is Okay campaign. How cute is that? So thank you. I'm not going to use this because I love it too much to use it. Like, it's special to me. So I'm definitely going to, like, wrap it up and, like, hang it up or something. I don't know why I'm going to do this bad boy yet, but this will not be used because I love it too much. So thank you so much to Lush. I really appreciate that. Next one, some more Lush items. <laughs> Okay, so basically, I just discovered Lush, basically. I mean, I've known about Lush for so long. I've had their bath bombs before, but I've never tried products from them. I've never tried, like, face products. I've never tried cleansers or toners or anything like that. The two I've been using this past month that have been, like, life-changing for my skin that I've actually noticed a true difference in my skin has been Angels on Bare Skin Face and Body Cleanser and the Uroma Water Toner Water. So let's talk about the Angels on Bare Skin first. So this one is a cleanser. It looks like this. It's the weirdest Play-Doh-y type of consistency with, like, big-ass seeds in it and it's kind of a bitch to use to be honest I just that's my opinion I don't like having to like put it on my hand get water make it into like a little paste and then put it over my face and like wash my face with that because it kind of just feels like play-doh and like little balls on my face I don't like the feeling of it just like a texture <laughs> it freak, freaks me out but it makes a difference in my skin my pores have gotten smaller I've had less acne and it truly is amazing because it's good for every single skin type it doesn't strip the skin whatsoever and if you guys have a chance try the angels on bare skin I use that bitch twice a day in my skin has never looked better. I'm full coverage, don't even look at me right now. So the next one is the U Roma Water Toner. It's a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use to help hydrate the skin. This is made for people that are more sensitive and more mature and more um, dry. I do have more on the oily skin side, but I still notice that this will really help hydrate my skin. I have less dry patches when I use this, and I don't feel like I get excessively oily whatsoever. Like, I really do feel like this has been helping me so much, especially because it has, like, lavender and rose, and it's so soothing on the skin. I also notice a huge difference using this with the Angels on Bare Skin. My skin has never felt and looked better. I have less dry patches. Again, if you guys have a Lush Bayou, get them. Or at least go, go look at them. Go check them out. They're really, honestly, they're really great. I love the products. They smell both really great. 
Try them out. One more skincare item. I'm sorry, one more. So, obviously, like, I'm a skincare freak. I love skincare so much. I've been loving the Natural Dermis Exfoliate. Natural Dermis is actually Vegas Snay's brand. So, if you guys follow Vegas Snay on Instagram, I mean, if you guys are into beauty, you guys probably follow Vegas Snay. But she is a huge, huge Instagrammer. She has like 5 million or something crazy like that, 5 or 6 million. And she created a brand called Natural Dermis. She has like four products in the, in the line, and the PR sent me some of their products. The other three are great, they're good products, but the exfoliate is what really like really really caught my attention one of the nicest most gentle exfoliators I've ever felt in my entire life and it's so amazing I'm not even kidding like this is so good it's a mint exfoliating facial facial polish let me just read the back of it because it's way better a gentle face polish with ingredients derived from sugar for a mild but deep cleanse and apricot oils smooth and clean the skin without drying that is so true. This is an exfoliator that's great for people who are dry. If you're dry and you want to exfoliate, but you've noticed that exfoliators strip your skin because you're already dry and you're like, no bitch, I can't like strip that bitch even more. Try the Natural Dermis Exfoliate. It is the nicest exfoliator, one of the nicest exfoliators I've ever tried in my whole life. And I've tried a lot of exfoliators. It's kind of expensive, like, and by kind of, I mean this bitch is expensive. <laughs> but it's good. It's really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about two brushes really quickly. I don't know if I talked about them before in the past. Both of them are from Morphe. The Morphe G0. Ho! Oh, baby bad baby. baby boo, nah, nah, nah. The Morphe G0 has revamped my powder game on fleek. The G0 is the biggest powder brush I've ever used in my entire life. It's extremely soft, synthetic, so it doesn't harbor bacteria. It's just the most amazing powder brush I've ever tried. It's huge. Great at getting my neck. I always powder my neck. I don't really like to put liquids on my neck. Liquid foundation, so I use a lot of powders on my neck. So this is so great at getting a large amount of powder on the skin, but really blending it out because it is dense, but it's so fluffy that it really helps spread the powder rather than putting too much on and you're like, shit, that's so much powder. This really honestly just like diffuses powder out so nicely. Oh my God. And I use it for my face as well, but it is so absolutely amazing. I'm not kidding. If you guys can, I don't know if it's sold out. I have no idea. I didn't check before I recorded this, but if you guys can, Grab the G0 before it's gone. I mean, it's a permanent It's a permanent brush. If you guys want to start using this, you will not go back. You will not use another powder brush. It is so nice. The next brush, I've talked about it before, actually, but I just need to talk about it again. It is the E36, which is one of the new Elite Collection brushes. This is the best pencil brush I've ever used in my entire life. It is so soft, synthetic, picks up product really nice, deposits really nice, and it blends like a little dream. I have four of these now. I can't stop. I can't stop. If you guys were to get it, you would understand what I'm talking about. I can't, I don't know how to, else to explain like how good a pencil brush is. Usually pencil brushes are super, super dense and they're rough on the eye and I get super frustrated because I'm like, dude, I need this bitch to be soft because like, it's a little sensitive area right there, you know? Very soft, but still picks up the product really nicely and blends it really nicely. So the E36, if you can, I don't know if it's sold out either. I'm sorry if it is, but it is so good. You guys need to get the E36. I'm no kidding, no kidding. Obviously, with Morphe, I do have a Morphe coat. I am an affiliate with Morphe brushes. Um, I like to let you guys know that. I do make a small commission off of when you guys buy with my coat. I just want to let you guys know. I like to let you guys know about my affiliates and stuff like that um, beforehand because I feel it's just more honest. If you use the code MANDYMUA in all caps, you guys do save 10% off. A lot of you guys already know that because you guys will tweet me pictures of Morphe brushes that you guys have bought. But just want to let you guys know, those of you who are new, if, you got, if you're a new subby, you don't know that yet, but this is what I'm telling you. Okay? Okay, next is the my foundation of life for this past couple months. Life. Life. It is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. I don't know if I've... I've already talked about this on my channel several times, but it's just so good. It is so good. I love you. I just feel like, like, fucking, like, The Hobbit. Like, this is my ring, and I'm, like, the... And this is, like, my precious. I'm, like... It's seriously the nicest foundation I've ever worn in my life. It is the most beautiful finish, beautiful coverage, looks flawless on the skin without looking heavy. It gives you a natural like face sheen. I don't know how to explain. Honestly, I don't even know. Great for all skin types. Honestly, I would, if I was oily, which I am, if you're oily, you definitely want to use a mattifying primer underneath it because it will accentuate your oils if you don't because it is going to give you a natural sheen to the skin because it's not a mattifying foundation whatsoever. I'm in the shade 300. I like to spray it on a flat top kabuki brush and pat it into my skin and it looks so beautiful. It is expensive. This bitch is so pricey. I almost, I almost had a little bit of a moment when I had to buy this motherfucker, but I heard such great things about it that I had to buy it, and I'm so happy I did. If I run out of this, which I will, I will definitely be buying more of it, even despite the price, because it is so good. Let's talk about highlighters. Let's talk about highlighters next. So I just want to talk about a quick highlighter because it's the one I'm wearing right now, and I absolutely love it. It is the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Collaboration Champagne Pop, one of the nicest highlighters I've ever tried in my entire life. 
life. It is so smooth, so beautiful. And I'm not just saying that because Jacqueline's my friend. I'm never going to talk about a product that I don't love. Even if my friend has created it or even if a friend of mine has collabed with the brand, if the product isn't nice, I'm not going to talk about it. I mean, no, no offense to my friends when they do create products or things like that, but I feel like it's more honest with you guys, my subscribers, and that's what I want. So, I mean, no offense to my friends if they ever collab with a brand. But this is just what, this is how I feel. If I ever collab with a brand, if I send it to a friend and they don't like it, I would never expect them to talk about it. And I would not want them to talk about it if it's not truly how they feel and not how they, I want it to be genuine, you know? And I genuinely, genuinely love Champagne Pop. I swatched it on my hand. Let me swatch it a little bit more. It is the most beautiful peachy gold highlighter I've ever seen. I'm wearing it on my cheekbones right now. As soon as I got it, like, I seriously, I have not put it down. I've worn it almost every single time I've worn makeup, I will wear Champagne Pop. It's just absolutely beautiful, and I'm so, so, so proud of Jacqueline for being able to do this. It just feels so amazing. I'm just, like, so happy for her, you know? Such a, like, an accomplishment to be able to collab with a brand like, like Becca, who's in Sephora. Jacqueline will be in Sephora. It's like, how crazy is that, you know? I'm just so proud of her. And I love her so much. I know it's gonna be such a hot item. Like, it will be gone so fast. If you guys can, Awesome. If you can't, I'm sorry. So I just want to talk about this pair of lashes really quickly. I think I've talked about them before in previous favorites, but <laughs> they're just so good. And I wear them all the time. It's actually the pair I'm wearing right now. They're called Bella Minx by New Balance. I think I've talked about them in my favorites. I don't even know, but I don't even care. They're that good to me. This is the pair. I have another pair. So this is what they look like. They're the most amazing, like, zigzaggy, flared out, wispy 3D minks I've ever tried. I cannot stop wearing them. I cannot stop wearing them. At every event, at everything I go to, I will wear this pair. And they're so good. They just, I feel like it makes my eyes just look so much more open. And especially in the center, like, they flare so intensely. Like, they can even, like, they'll even hit my brow, kind of. So, I'm such a drag queen. They are definitely more of an intense pair of lashes. They're not so, like, for the everyday woman, you know what I mean? Like, they're definitely more intense. They're more event lashes. Like, if you're going to the club, or if you have a really smoky eye, like, this is a great pair of lashes to wear because you can actually see them. This pair photographs so good. If you're more into the more natural lashes, try the New Bounce Some Lashes in Australian Mist or Australian Mink. I don't even know what they're called. They're Australian something. They're such a beautiful natural pair. I'll link New Bounceum down below. Also, what I love about New Bounceum so much, I'm in affiliate with New Bounceum, and they gave my followers a 20% off coupon code. I've never heard of a brand, a lash brand, offering my followers 20% off. Never. Never, 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 never. It's just a, a, such an awesome deal. Like, you get 20% off with the code MANNYMUA. Like, that's such an awesome freaking deal, dude. Go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and move on to the next product. The next product I'm going to go ahead and talk about is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. That's my shade. I just want to talk about quickly the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes because they are absolutely beautiful. I completely forgot about the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. I used to work at MAC, and I used to use them all the time, and I loved them. I loved them so much, and I completely forgot about them until I used it recently with the Dior Air Flash, and I cannot stop using them. Like, I'll set my face with a translucent powder, like the Laura Mercier one, and then I'll put this on top, and it gives me the most beautiful skin-like finish ever. Like, when it says Mineralized Skin Finish, it's true. The fact that it's a mineral powder gives you a skin finish sheen, and it's so stunning. If you're like someone that likes to be more on the natural side of makeup, that doesn't want to look too, too, too matte or too, too, too glowy, but still want to have a natural skin finish to the face, try the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. They are so bomb. I forgot about them. They're kind of pricey. They are pricey for a powder. Oh, fuck, they're pricey for a powder. Fuck, they are good. But they are damn good. Another MAC item I have to talk about <laughs> is the Boom Boom Room Shadow by MAC. This is part of their Dazzle Shadow collection, like the Le Disco collection that they had. This shadow is so ridiculous. As you guys saw earlier this week, I did have a tutorial up using this this shadow in it. I'll leave a link down below if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I uploaded it on Tuesday. But it's the most awesome, badass, like, multi-dimensional glitter I've ever came across. It's so sickening. I love the shadows. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I have no idea if they're permanent whatsoever or if they're going to be coming back at all. But what I have noticed that if you want to use this shadow or any kind of the Dazzle shadows, try to use a glitter glue primer underneath your eye. Trust me when I say that, it will help so much because they do have fallout. They do have fallout. They're a very dry texture. When you feel them, they feel dry. So that means it will fall off onto the face. So what I do is I, use, I like to use my finger, put glitter glue on the lid first, and then press with my finger over the glitter glue, and that, I've noticed, has no fallout for me. And it just, it makes the shadow look more intense and more like vibrant, vivacious, I'll say vivacious. I heard that Urban Decay like Solstice, I think, is very similar to this shadow, but I mean, I have the shadow and I love it. So try it out if you guys can. If you guys can find it, grab Boom Boom Room. So good, so fucking good. I just wanna talk about a quick eye primer that I've been loving for the past a while. It's, it hasn't been just one month, it's been a while. 
Maybe it's just been like two months. Um, I just forgot to talk about it last month. This is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This primer has saved my ass multiple times. So this is the primer I wear if I go to an event or if I go to like something that I know my, my makeup needs to last all day without creasing, without anything, I will use this primer. This is the most amazing eye primer for those of you who have oily lids. If you have an oily lid and like suffer from creasage using other primers, try the Smashbox 24 hour. It is so good. It's like basically straight up silicone and it really helps keep the oils of your lid at bay so that it doesn't crease on you throughout the day. I've had this on. This has kept my shadows on for like 13 hours. At the most, it was like 13 hours and it looked the same as when I did it 13 hours previously. I don't know what it is about this. It is so good. I'm not kidding. Like if you guys can try it out, you want to use a very small amount of this though. You cannot use a lot. Like I'm talking like for the whole lid like this, that is for two eyes. Use a very tiny amount. A little bit goes a very long way, which was which is great because this will last a while. And yeah, that was it for my entire June favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I love favorites videos. They're my favorite videos to watch and to film. It just feels like I'm literally talking to you guys about products that I truly love myself. And it's just like, I want you guys to try these out. And my favorite part is when people tweet me and they Instagram me and they're like, hey, like I bought this with your recommendation and I absolutely love it. That makes me so happy because I feel like, I just feel like, I don't know, it just makes me feel like you guys like trust me and that you guys love it is just as much as I do and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I want you guys to tell me what your guys' June favorites have been. I love hearing suggestions from you guys about what your guys' favorites are. I can't just tell you guys my favorites and you guys not tell me yours. Like, I need to know what a great product so that I can try those ones out as well as you can try mine out. You know what I mean? Like, you guys tell me things like to try and I tell you guys things to try. I don't know if that makes sense, but I like it when you guys tell me like, your favorites of the month because I just feel like I can go out and try those things out and see if I like them and then I can share them with other people as well. So I would really appreciate if you guys tell me your favorites. But yeah, honestly, that's all there is to say. I'll be in LA when this is going up. But stay tuned for my next video. I cannot wait for my next video. I'm so excited, so stay tuned for my next video. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I think that's all there is to say besides, please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Chat, all the other things, Facebook. I will leave everything linked down below if you guys have any questions about anything. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> For real. Who's bark? What the fuck? There's a dog barking. <gasps> I can't move it. Wait. Oh, that's fucking weird. Tell me that's not fucking weird. <laughs> fuck me sideways <sighs> with chainsaw. Has it been me only, or is the gear flying by? What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I so weird? Do my teeth look whiter already? Do they look whiter already? I've only done two days of Crest Whites, maybe not. <laughs> Who the hell? Can you control your dog? Motherfucking thing. Because now, I mean, not everyone likes balls on their feet. I don't know what that means, but that's what it is. No, do not die on me, you fucker. I made it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.